Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And today, oh, did you hear that wind? Oh my goodness, it's really windy out. So today we are going to my favorite antique pop-up that is only open once a month here in the Twin Cities. It's called Hopped Antique. And they are bragging that they got fall and Halloween, y'all, on the online posts and things look great. So today is the first day they're open. They're open like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is Thursday. So let's go check it out. Ooh, I really want some vintage Halloween. As you can see out front here, they had gourds just everywhere. Everything looks so beautiful in fall out front. I really, really love the way it was all decorated with local produce. Um, when you walk in through the gate, the, I mean, the entire thing is just, it's staged really beautifully. Um, they really showed how, um, you know, the pops of orange could just be put with other items. I really love this sign. I thought it was really great. Um, I love this pumpkin one too. It's really cool when people take this old barn wood and make stuff out of it. But yeah, they really just, <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Um, they really just showed how, you know, a pop of orange can make a display feel more fall. That's really cool too. I liked that piece. I thought that was had a neat vintage look, even though it was a modern craft. Um, and I really appreciate um, the displays they have here. I love those boxes. I thought that was kind of a neat thing, that horseshoe um, oh, and I liked that basket, but I couldn't reach it. So till we meet again, basket, till we meet again. <laughs> oh, and I really liked this shelf. I really like this shelf. How much is the shelf? Not bad. Not bad at all. I am a sucker for a wall shelf. I need to stop buying them. <laughs> I really loved this, despite it being all crusty. Look at that design. Gorgeous deco design on that piece just gorgeous oh look at the inside so pretty another one of those horseshoe pumpkins which is kind of neat but yeah um oh look at that that's really cool i never found a price on that if i had found a price on that i probably would have bought that i thought it was really neat and could be just decorated really interesting for a display they also had tins galore out here uh, this is just one of the sections that had tins and you know i oh hey i sold that like a week ago <laughs> um you know i just i love the inspiration from these displays and um here's a vintage blow mold pretty cool um let's see not bad the price isn't bad i'd say that's perfectly retail um but yeah it just I really appreciate, oh, that pop of orange, isn't that great? I just really appreciate the inspiration in a place like this because it gives me so many ideas. And I love these. Look at how they made like a jack-o'-lantern out of that old gas can. Isn't that just kind of a neat repurpose? You know exactly what it is. You know it's a jack-o'-lantern. And that 22 bucks, that is not bad at all. I mean, just look, like this outside section is expansive. There is a lot out here. Um, just really, really cool use of the space. I love that they put so much outside and stuff that kind of shouldn't even be outside, like those things. Like those look like they should be inside, but they have them outside. Um, I appreciate their willingness to put some, um, you know, more fragile small items out there Ugh, another shelf i'm a sucker for a shelf y'all Ooh, how much is it oh not bad not bad at all Ugh, Catherine, walk away from the shelf walk away from the shelf <laughs> i really really liked that haunted house sign again that is like that reclaimed barn wood um Haunted house isn't like the look I'm going for for Halloween, but if somebody was, I think that would look so good above a door. So many fun, rusty, crusty items in this area and just so many like possibilities of how you could stage things. I love these. Someday I'm redoing all the trim in my condo 
and I'm putting those corners in all the door frames because they are amazing and I love them. That I thought was a really neat little table. I really liked that reclaimed wood birdhouse. Oh, look, there's my shadow. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you could see that. Um, all the things. Oh, little boo lights. How cute are those? <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, this isn't my area, but I still love it all. Look, even more tins, y'all. Just so many tins. So great. I really like those ones with the decals on it. I thought those are cool. That set is really neat. Very fall. Very neat. And just combine it with a little local produce and, like, you have a fall display. That That was one thing I kind of took away from this was like, oh yeah, all I need is just a few pumpkins and a few gourds. And look, I have decorated for fall. <laughs> so much cool stuff to see. That jar was for sale with everything in it. So you could only get it as the jar, which kind of sucked. And then these little guys, this is actually my first item I'm picking up for purchase. I'm picking up this little guy. And then walking inside, oh, so many cute things. So many more of those like metal jack-o'-lanterns, which is awesome. Oh, we got some little candles here. I think they're like little girly candles, which is pretty neat. Lots of fun little upcycled metal projects and little owls. <laughs> Those are cool. Um, yeah, I really, oh, that that is a really nice duck. This is not my kind of decorating. I almost bought it for resale, to be quite honest. And I, yeah, I love those cans. I think those are so neat. That is so great, right? Oh, so great. So much better than a modern retail um, store item. I mean, just look at those. Look how good they shine. Honestly, if it wasn't such a raw edge, I would buy that. I'm just a little afraid my kitties would cut themselves on it. I love that cat. I've never seen that before. Thought it was very weird. It's like a elemental man out of leaves. I thought that was odd. I really liked these. I really liked them in the small sizes. I think they were very surprising. Um, yeah, I just thought that was really cool. Um, $14, not a bad price at all. Not a bad price at all. I thought this tin was just beautiful. I really loved the colors and the design and the patina. I thought this whole area was really cute. Got some cloche going on. <laughs> oh, and I'm a sucker for these little pin cushion chairs. These are like little craft projects. Um, I love them. I just draw into them all the time. But I thought this whole little, little setup here was really, really cute. The whole thing looked really good. And I thought this setup was beautiful too. All the oranges and the blacks, they just looked so good together. And yeah, I just, you know, it's taken inspiration from all of it. Cute tin. And this booth had some legit vintage Halloween that was really cool. And it was just really neat to see these pieces. You know, a lot of it is is out of my price range, but it's still really cool to see. Yeah, that is out of my price range. <laughs> but I mean, how neat is this piece? Look at that, right? That's really cool. I love that kitty. And look, there's a kitty that's in my price range. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of the booths really kind of had this fall country theming going on. And even though that isn't my style, I still love looking at all the things. You never know what you're going to find. Like those cute little pumpkins. I love that hat. Um, and I can always find inspiration from these booths and how they style stuff. Um, and I can apply it to my own life. 
Oh, hey, there, hey, there's some spooky Pez. That's cool. <laughs> and yeah, just all kinds of repurposing of things. I, I thought that was really neat. I'd never seen anything like that before. Thought that was really cool. And I don't know what it is about spectacles and top hats, but they feel very fall. I don't know why. They just do. This whole little setup right here I thought was just done really well. And I thought it just felt super fall. I just, I just loved it. Really love this cute cookie jar. I don't have space for it, but that was a good piece. A really good piece. That was cool. Um, it's totally modern though. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's some real vintage Halloween. Very cool. That was really neat. Out of my price range yet again, but very, very neat. And yeah, it was just neat seeing some real vintage Halloween. I, I ended up snagging that. I thought that was cool. Um, I also snagged that little guy. I thought that was neat too. Um, but it was, it was, it was neat seeing vintage Halloween items. Like it was just really neat seeing them. Like right here, this whole bin, all these little vintage toys, they were definitely, um, priced at retail at collector's value. Um, but it was just really neat seeing them. Yeah. See 22. That's, that's right on the money for retail. Um, it might actually be low, um, Hey, there's that Pez again. Um, but yeah, it was just cool to see. Really cool to see. And, you know, vintage die cuts. A lot of this stuff I have just never seen before. And it was just fun to see it. Um, I really enjoyed um, all the Halloween, even if it was like extremely out of my price range. Oh, I love those little devil salt and pepper shakers. Those are really neat. <laughs> Very cool. And I thought that was neat. Simple, but effective. This booth is one of my absolute favorites. Um, I do like how they mix the Ray Dunn in with it. I think it actually looks really good. Um, a lot of these things are vintage reproduction pieces. Um, I can just tell based on the price. And they're in really good condition. So these, a lot of these are just vintage reproduction Yeah, I love this booth. She has such a good eye for things. I always find fun things in this booth every time. Every time. That's a vintage reproduction piece too. Pretty much all, all of it is. Um, the, some of those are old. Those are old. That's old. That's old. <laughs> I really liked that book. I just thought that was super neat. It was out of my price range, but that was that was really cool. And this isn't Halloween, y'all, but oh my God, it's an Enid Collins cat purse. I really wanted it. Again, how simple is that? But how cute, right? I, I love it. Love, love, love. Ugh, and I love this. Oh my God, look at this book. Obsessed. Obsessed. But um, yeah, it's out of my price range. Um, it's more than I want to pay for one kind of pamphlet, but oh, what a neat book. They had cute books with uh, Tall, Dark, and Deadly. <laughs> um, and I just appreciated that this said art and not like family or laugh or love. It's just something different. I also really love putting images in frames for the holidays. I think that's a great way to decorate. Um, that was pretty inexpensive. I was pretty impressed. I, see, that's so simple, but I think it's so great. That boo, that's it's simple, but it's cool. I thought this whole display looked really nice. And I'm still on the lookout for vintage postcards. These are reproductions. Um, in their advertisements for this weekend, they showed real ones. I still am on the lookout. I thought that um, Butler there, the dustpan with the 
I just thought that was really neat. I really like that. And what do we have here? Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh my goodness, it's Playboy. <laughs> so great, so great. Oh goodness. I really liked this booth. Lots of fun things. Lots of fun things. Oh my God, look at those metal owls. <laughs> This booth was styled just so neat. I mean, it was just crates on crates on crates. Um, and I kept finding just neat things to look at. Um, at first glance, this booth isn't my style, but then I would, I would find things that I thought were great. They had a lot of vintage reproduction mixed in with the vintage, and I think that looks spectacular. I think that's a great way to style things. And don't forget to look up. Look what was up there. How cool is that? Is that not the neatest shelf? This is all that stuff we were looking at earlier down here. And look what was above it. So stinking cool. Oh my goodness. I also thought this was a neat idea. They just put some hardware on a bottle. Priced it cheap. That, that would be great in the display. I think it looks really good. I'm also kind of kicking myself for not buying this piece. Um, I thought it was a little much at the time, but now I'm kind of regretting it. How good is that for a riser for display? It's got that great atomic reflection. I love that. I, I should have bought that. And look at all the owls. I actually own these ones, but they're painted differently. Uh, sorry about the finger there, guys. I didn't realize it right away. Um, so many owls. Oh my God, look at the angry one. <laughs> oh, so great, so great. And I thought this was kind of cool. So those Louis the Moore books, um, he is from my hometown and my grandma actually helped him write his books. Um, if you read his autobiography, my grandparents are in it, pictures of my grandparents and it talks about them helping him. Um, this is just such a beautiful display with the bottles. I thought that looked really nice and I'm a sucker for anything with a spider web. This booth, I felt like they just had stuff stacked in front of stuff, in front of stuff, in front of stuff because they knew that they would be selling stuff throughout the weekend and that they just planned on keep pulling more and more out because it's just, look at that. Everything's just buried. Um, but I was guessing that they were planning on just pulling stuff forward as things sold. Really cool booth. I've never seen those big candles, only the small one, the small size there. And look, it is a blow mold, a Halloween blow mold, vintage. There it is. And the price isn't that bad. I'm, I'm surprised, I thought it would be higher. I also have no space for this welcome sign with the cat. But I super duper love that. And that's just a modern piece made to look old, but I, I still really liked it. And I loved all this vintage reproduction stuff. I thought it looked really good. And I loved that painting back there. It was kind of hidden away, but it was it was really cool. Oh my God. And look at that clock. Wouldn't that be so fun to style? Great price on that clock. I just thought there were so many cute things in here. I'm also a sucker for any antique place that has these like spinning, oh my God, it's those weird gnomes <laughs> uh, that has these like spinners because I, I just love looking at everything in them. And ooh, this is like a bag of doll parts and doll dresses. You could do some cool stuff with that. Someone could really have fun with that. Um, Yeah, I love turning all these things. I love seeing what are stashed in all the cubbies. Um, some of my absolute favorite antique places have those, those utilitarian displays. And I've never really seen these candles before. This is the first time I've seen them, and I've seen them a couple times already while looking around. Um, 
eighteen dollars. I I don't even know if that's a good price for those. I I have I don't know anything about those. Um, <laughs> that radioactive sign, so cool. How fun would that be for decor? <laughs> I love that. That hand painted pillow is beautiful. That's neat. It's hand done. Really neat. And I keep thinking about that painting over here. I wish I could get to it, but the 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 vulture's really just stuck in there. There's no way to get to her, but she's creepy cool. Creepy, creepy cool. And I just thought this was really cute. Take a box, put little spookies in it, have them popping out. Great display idea. I liked it. And this was a great display too. I really liked it. Those will glow. I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, I just loved all of it. A lot of this stuff is not my typical, but I just, I get a lot of inspiration from this booth and how they display things. Ooh, I love that tin on the top, right? Very neat. Ooh, in there. Ooh, fancy pottery. Maybe this is my kind of booth. <laughs> they have some cloches there. Very in this year for decorating. I love that. I love the little box. Just super cute. Super, super cute. This booth has really nice displays. Really love that. I think that has such a great look. Ooh, in that box. Oh, this whole display right here is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is the booth that they change out every season with a guest vendor. And I really like this guest vendor this time. Oh, their stuff is super cool. I There was so much art in here. Oh, I loved all of it. I could take it all home. I do not have the wall space, but I could take it all home. Every piece of art. And there was a Vaseline glass. And I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. So great. This was a really neat vendor. They had a really good eye. Um, thought that was adorable too. Yeah, I just, I seriously just loved everything. I love, look how beautiful all that is. Oh, that's so, oh my God, I love that painting. I love that painting. It was super reasonable too, but I have no space for it. But oh, that was really cool. I love that frame. Oh, and I love those women. Um, all super reasonable. This, this whole place is a mood. Look at that. How great is that? And just about to wrap up, folks. Ugh, I saw a glass head. I don't want a clear one. I want it to be a color. So I'm going to leave that for someone else because that was a great price. Love the old cabinet cards. Looking good. Ugh, love it. I love the way this book was styled, and I also really like the flower frog there. And that's all she wrote, folks. Let's get into the haul. All right, y'all. So we're just going to do a quick haul of all the stuff I got because, of course, I can't just go and look. It never works out. Like, I always pick up things. So, um, yeah, let me just show you the great things I got. I got some really great stuff for Halloween. I scored this black and orange Playboy ashtray. Lord, is it not like the cutest dang thing? I love this. Now, just so you know, this is my personal collection. So this one will not be for resale, but like how great, right? This next item is actually the first thing I grabbed. Um, it was actually sitting outside. It's this cute little pumpkin. It kind of opens like, like little Easter egg things. I don't think it's terribly old. It was only 50 cents. And I'm gonna use it on a project on the channel. I think it's adorable. Then I grabbed this little guy. What a cute little candle, right? He was, I think, $5. I just, he's got such a great look. I'll use him for something. I then picked up this just cute little pail. Um, there is a project coming up on this channel with, let's just say little dolls. So this is gonna be used for that. I think this was all $3. I don't think it's super old, but it's super duper cute. I also snagged some cookie cutters for crafting. 
little little pumpkin here, a little kitty cat. I think this is from that old kooky cutter set thing, um, but these will be perfect for crafting. I wanna put them in a little assemblage. And speaking of assemblage, um, I wanna use this for crafting too. I picked up this little stir stick and it is a naughty, um, it's like a naughty devil woman. I thought it was really killer. I just thought it was really neat. Um, I think it was all $3 and it says Vampire Gimlet Smirnoff. I just, I thought it was exceptional. Again, I don't think this is super old, but it's super cool. And you all know I had to grab that angry owl. Oh my gosh, I adore him. So cute. Um, I think this is probably 70s. Um, it says made in Austria and it's a redware piece. And oh my God, I, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's so weird is I think I'm collecting owls now. I've bought a couple recently. I, I don't know why. And I did grab this adorable little book. Y'all, it is exceptional. Look at the graphics on this. Um, looking at the graphics throughout it is just, the whole thing is really good. Um, very excited about this. Um, but, but I gotta tell you, I am still thinking of that, that costume book that I left there. Look at that picture, how great. I am still thinking of that costume um, book. I might actually go back for it. Um, I had a conversation with the woman who runs this booth. Um, I love her booth. I love all the things she does. And we were talking about that book and she significantly marked that book down. It is worth a lot more than it was priced. And y'all, I might go back. That was really cool. <laughs> I then picked up like a bag of little odds and ends. There's little scarecrows, there's little picks and heads and, and a little Jack Lennon. There's a little kitty right there and a ghost. Um, I thought this would be great for an assemblage. So um, I picked these up to do some crafting with. I think I paid $5 for the whole bag. Um, the earliest the stuff in here is probably maybe 80s, but I thought it was a, a good deal for all the little bits and bobs you get. Y'all know me, I love ephemera. I thought this was adorable. Um, it was only $2. Yes, it has writing all over it. Real talk. Um, it's in rough, rough condition. If you look on the sides, it's taped up and horrible. This is a huge scratch and dent item. I don't care. I love it. So this is going to be in my display. And I did pick up one vintage inspired item. So this is by a brand, let's see, what is the brand called? Primitives by Kathy. And I, I love this. I thought it was so beautiful. I paid $10 for it. It's a little, um, it's a little um, towel. And this is like a velvet, this strip. I just, it is perfect, y'all. I just, it has such a great vintage look. And we all know vintage at Halloween is hard to find. So when you can get really good reproduction stuff with like the right feel, heck yes, go for it. And then after all the looking and searching at the end, when I was done filming and everything, I just like snooped back around and I was like, I'm going to find those vintage postcards. I'm going to, and I did, I found them and I snagged them. So I got this little guy. This is the one I paid the most for. How cute is that one? This one is postmarked 1909 and I love the writing on the back. It's super cute. He like chides the person for not writing him. Fabulous. This one has a postmark of 1941. Um, I paid $5 for this one. Very cute. What I thought was kind of neat about the back of this one is it has um, the four dispense postage. So it's kind of like in support of the war. I thought that was really neat too. So these are going into my personal collection, just so you know. And then this one's also going into my personal collection. It is postmarked 1908. And look at it's little kids in costumes. I just, I thought it was super cute. Um, she's got very like Sally Nightmare Before Christmas vibes, right? Um, so here's the back on that one. Yeah, and I think I paid $4 for this one. So um, I did pay up on these, um, total of like 19 bucks for all of them, but 
you just, you don't find Halloween that often. So I thought it was a great deal. And that is everything I got y'all. So be sure to check out all the other videos that I have in this thrift Thriftoween series. The playlist um, will be linked below. I'll also link it up here, okay? And then also, if you are in Minnesota or close to Minnesota, um, be sure to check out my community tab. Um, I talked about an upcoming Thriftoween meetup, um, and I'd love for you to come if vintage postcards are your jam, this might be your thing. So. Um, I'd love to see y'all there. And that is it, y'all. I think this is the last vintage haul, um, like vintage thrifted haul I'm going to do for Halloween. Um, I will do one more Halloween haul that I think is going to be like retail and small business, but no more thrifted and vintage. And then um, then it, it I will show you all my decorations and all the thrifted items. So lots are coming. Lots, lots of stuff is coming. So Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed all the eye candy of fall and Halloween in this video. And I will talk to you later, guys. Stay creative. Bye.